My name is Rich, and I've been volunteering for people who care for almost a year now. And, you know, there are lots of things in life that I really enjoy doing. Um, two of them are being out in nature and doing things for people who care. So, you know, I can't uh, be helping with people who care this morning, but at least I can talk about it. So I'm just going to tell you uh, two of the main things that I do with people who care. Um, one is I uh, buy groceries for an elderly couple. Um, sometimes I go over to their house, pick up the grocery list, and go to their grocery store of choice and return back with the groceries and help them uh, unload them. First time I did it, well, let me just say this. You think that might be simple, but the first time I did it, um, I got to the grocery store without my cell phone. I uh, had no way to be in contact with them and you know their brands and their sizes and there are lots of variables and um, but anyway uh, they were very forgiving and uh, we've uh, since uh, kind of narrowed down the list of possibilities and I'm much better at it. Uh, the other thing that I do is uh, when one of them is having a really good day I'll drive them to the grocery store and that's um, really cherished time for, for both of us just because we can talk and uh, catch up and you know, just kind of share the fun things in life and the not so fun things in life. And, um, it, and it's also kind of uh, emblematic of people who care because it's one on one. And that's that's what people uh, who care really uh, strives to do. Just make those um, personal one on one contacts uh, available, uh, not only to the neighbors that are being helped, but to us volunteers, because, you know, we're getting a lot out of it as well. We're getting uh, uh, friendships and new acquaintances and things like that. The other um, main thing uh, that I do is uh, I'm an intake interviewer, and we intake interviewers are pretty much the uh, eyes and ears of people who care. We're the, we're the initial face-to-face uh, -face contact. Uh, people contact people who care for a variety of reasons, uh, some of which are like um, transportation. They need someone to drive them to um, the doctor's office or the grocery store or, or a healthcare facility or they need help with personal paperwork, or they need uh, help with uh, small repairs around the house, or maybe they're blind or partially blind and, and uh, they need someone to read their mail. Um, also, uh, we have volunteers that are eager to, um, to make periodic phone calls, you know, and uh, also others that are, uh, would like to uh, visit you in your home. Uh, just to chat, just to check in, just to make certain that you're okay, because, you know, life uh, gets kind of uh, boring or tedious at times. Um, so anyway, getting back to the interview, um, mine are pretty open-ended. My goal is to get to know the person a little bit, uh, to have them get to know people who care uh, through me. When I leave those interviews, um, there's usually a, a flood of mixed emotions. Um, sometimes I'm feeling sadness because I find people in... Um, uh, dire straits or semi-dire straits. By the same token, uh, I feel uh, often uplifted uh, because people uh, cope really well and uh, they inspire me. And I realize that someday, you know, I might be in their shoes. And so, uh, so they become a, a role model for me, if you will, uh, to uh, you know, to pull it off with a little bit of uh, a plum and uh, and grace. So that's uh, that's my story. I really enjoy my one-to-one -one contacts uh, with people who care. Um, I've met a lot of great people and frankly I hope that uh, some of you will be uh, inspired or at least motivated to uh, give us a shot. Uh, there are lots of different things to do and uh, you know, hopefully you'll find uh, a way to help out and uh, in the process of helping others I think you'll find that you're being helped as well.